building technology at SGH, or what we refer to as BT, started out as a roofing design practice, but has expanded into something much more, where we look at the entire enclosure, we look at indoor air quality, the indoor environment, condensation, building science issues, flooring and other material science practices. Building sciences include different aspects of mechanical engineering, where we look at heat and moisture transfer, energy consumption, moisture accumulation, investigate and diagnose mechanical system problems in buildings. We like to have a balance of new design work, rehabilitation work, and investigation work. So fundamentally, we operate in those three sectors to also expose our staff to training and learning opportunities that are across various different project types. Why I really like building technology is, is it's not something you can look up on Google. You're trying to find the answer to something and it turns out someone sitting in your office or another office actually wrote the article that has the answer and you can reach out to them and find out more. You know, there's just things that you do that you never thought that you would do. Going in with my equipment and trying to see patterns and things, trying to discover where the sources of leaks are, try to see something maybe that others have missed. I think that that's pretty cool. I had the opportunity to work on a project where we build headquarters for a major shoe manufacturer and an athletic training facility for a major sports team. I was lucky enough to be involved from design through construction administration, reviewing submittals, RFIs, and various questions that came up. We visited the project on a regular basis, reviewed the building and closure components to make sure they matched the design. I was able to see the project through from beginning to end. The project we have in Cambridge where a biotech company took the old Neko candy factory and converted it into high-end laboratory space in their corporate headquarters in Boston. But unfortunately, after they moved in, they had problems with leaks occurring in the building. So we were called in to do an investigation and then to do a design to make repairs. All of our repairs had to occur from the outside so that the high-end laboratory spaces could be functional throughout the project. We are a problem-solving institution, so it is critical to be well-trained and to also stay abreast of current technological requirements. And we have a program, BT Innovation. Our staff get together, they form diversified teams, they identify a problem that is challenging the industry, and they come up with a way to study it. And that is the best way we stay current with the industry. There's a lot of on-the-job learning because of so many aspects of the enclosure and buildings that we need to consider. So people have to really be curious and have skills and experiences that are outside of what they might have learned in school. It's really part of the inquisitive DNA that Warner Gumpert's brought to us as a professor as well as a problem solver and a technology expert.